Hello Taurus and welcome to your July 2023 general reading. Taurus, I just came out of meditation and it was a brief one. I saw someone in a crowd of people almost feeling like they want to escape the crowd. Um, like throwing a popper or something that causes a distraction on that side of the room so they can bust it and get the heck out of there. <laughs> I then saw that person running toward an airplane and I heard Lenny Kravitz singing fly away. <laughs> so Taurus, do you need a break? Are you tugged on? Are you in demand? Can you never get privacy or alone time? Do you just want to you know, go on a holiday, put your feet in the sand. This could be no more than that. This may be telling you you're stressed, you're up to here with whatever. Um, you want people to take their focus off of you for a minute so you can just be. So I don't know what this is. It could be that you want to, you know, grab someone special and say, hey, the plane is ready. Let's get on and get the hell out of here. <laughs> I don't know. So Taurus, let's find out what you need to know about this could be just symbolism so take it as it resonates victory hmm. accomplishing something i'm kind of getting that you know you want to yeah I'm, I'm almost getting like a, a celebratory energy from that maybe you're saying oh my gosh i've i finally did this and all this hubbub has been so much for me. Let's just go. Let's just go. Maybe you're grabbing your family and just getting out of Dodge, right? So let's find out what you need to hear. After the Aries reading I just did, I have no clue what's going to come out. <laughs> that was wild. Financial constraints. Okay, bottom deck. Let's see what we have here. Victory, it came out. The thinking woman, woman holding a coin. Hmm, interesting. Um, initially, what I'm picking up on is that you've reached a particular place in um, your life, maybe career-wise, you've accomplished a lot. And uh, you know, you may be assessing the aspects of your life that feel a little bit unfulfilled. Door to personal healing and happiness. You know, that airplane might represent freedom for you. You're walking through a new door, wanting to do something else. Maybe you've been thinking about a goal. Maybe you've reached that goal. It could be a financial goal. This could all be reversed and someone sees you this way. So I, I won't get too into it. But let's take a peek at what spirit is alerting you of. I'm going to get a couple cards from this deck. I'm feeling it. What is spirit showing you? Anything else? I'm singing that song in my head. I freaking love it. Okay, status quo. Ah, I feel the doldrums. The doldrums. Yeah, fragmented energy. This represents all of that noise around you, Taurus. All of that noise around you. You don't want that airplane to get away, metaphorically. Loss. Um, I, I think you're ready to just say, I, I've got to switch it up. And, and this could be accompanied by a lot of stress. I'm not, I'm not downplaying that energy. New supportive connections, playing it safe, professional assistance. <laughs> Is your life like a carnival? Is there noise, music, and distraction all around you? Do you have, you know, someone professionally like in your face all the time and you just want to find that place where, oh, wow, look at that. Yes, I'm seeing she's just hurled like a firecracker way over there. So all eyes turn in that direction and she can say, 
ah, oh, now I'm in a peaceful place. I don't know what this is, but let's go there. What is going to unfold for you, Taurus? Which deck, Spirit? Okay, this is where I was going and I'm glad. You're stressed. You got a lot going on. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. You might even have like someone who's a saboteur. Look at that monkey wanting to pop that, that balloon. Hmm. So much crazy symbolism in the readings this month. So let's just see what is presenting for you. This could get specific. It may not at all. This may just be, listen, you, you need a break. You need a break. Oh, I just heard breaking point. If you're that stressed about something, I mean, you could run a business that demands a ton of your time. You just need to get away. Look at how peaceful that is with the dove and the rainbow and the lilies. You just need to quench. Yeah. What's going to play out for Taurus? Five of Cups. Wow. Courage. What's going to play out for Taurus? These cards are being really odd. Okay. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just get, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Silence. This is the star energy. You need, you need to be good to you. I feel like this silence is just the need for respite to break away from the noise. We have the six of cups in reverse. Control. Patience. Possibilities. The miser. I think you're evaluating where you give your energy. I think people around you or something about a, a mindset you have about what you have to do, you might be reevaluating. Now, if you have something you have to do for work, you, you know, you may feel like, you know, if I don't do this, then I'm, you know, I'm going to miss out on maybe a big chunk of money that's going to help me plan for my future. So I feel like part of you, Taurus, is looking at what can I do? Maybe I just have to put in this little bit of work before I reach my goal. So I just need to muscle through it, right? But you might even be thinking that, you know, five of cups, six of cups in reverse. You might be coming to the realization that you've allowed yourself to fall into some sort of a pattern. Now it can be a pattern of overworking. It can be a pattern of other people doing this to you. Control. And I think you want to break away from it. You may be looking at how else can I go about, um, you know, my work, if this is about work. How can I expand? Oh, I'm hearing Streams of income, passive income. Oh, okay. So some of you may be thinking, I've got this idea and, and it's just percolating, right? It's in its gestation and all I need to do is just hold out a little while longer and all of this craziness, all of this overworking and noise around me, I can finally let it go. That's what I'm getting. Let's take a look at what are you wanting to release, Taurus? What are you wanting to let go of? What are you wanting to alleviate? I heard alleviate. Okay. What are you? Okay. Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Temperance, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. I feel like this is an empty pursuit. 
that's what I got. It's an empty pursuit. I think if this is about material gains, nine and 10 of pentacles, I feel like you just, you're not satisfied. And if spirit is saying, listen, you're not happy anyway, what are you doing to yourself? Then maybe, you know, let a little of that go. Does it matter? You know, if this is about setting yourself up for the future, right? Passive, I just dumped a bunch of cards in my lap. Passive income, and then you can just kind of let it go. I, I feel that if this is about, I'm never gonna be satisfied no matter what, you've got to evaluate that. You've got to evaluate that. Keep that in check. Get away. This is my traveler. Page of Wands, sneak away. <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. I'm so going to link that song. Get away. Nobody, you know what? You think that uh, I, this is going to burst some egos out there. You think a company can't run without you? Um, just try it. If you have good people around you in your business, let them, let them take the ball and run with it. Get away. Um, you know, I don't know what the distraction is, but everybody's facing in that direction. And you're like, oh, is this, is this the moment I can, you know, make a break for it? Get away. <laughs> I love that. You can't make it up. All right. Anything else? What do you need to know about what opportunity is presented to you? Like, how can you alleviate this? King of Cups. A journey? Are you gonna, you know, grab your favorite person and hop in a boat, hop on a plane? What's being presented to you that you should consider, Taurus? Ace of Pentacles. A new job? Six of Swords. Your life may feel a little bit chaotic. And, you know, you can't sustain that kind of energy for long. You can't. Like, if this is about some sort of, you know, material gain, or, again, I, I'm repeating myself. Maybe you do something that pays you back. Oh, I just shoved those on the shelf. And look at that. We have the Seven of Swords. You're, are you playing someone else's game? Look at that. Now, for some of you, you may think, yeah, I have a business partner who is, you know, just driving me to the freaking edge and I can't do this anymore. Speak up. Say something. If this is a partner, speak up. Say something. What did I just shove over there? Okay. We have, you know, the star, of course, and maturity. Are you near retirement? So... Set yourself up for passive income and slow down your pace. Because, you know, although you may be trying to amass your wealth for retirement, you're not happy. Just break away from that. Take a break. Okay. No more preaching. What else does Taurus need to know about this? <laughs> Look at that. I love it. The fool. Just do something silly. Go hiking. You know, pack, pack a backpack, go hiking for the weekend, leave your laptop or your whatever device at home. Just go out into the sunshine. What else? Wow. Spirit just said to me, this seems like a really simple message until you're in it. Okay, that, that's a message for somebody. Knight of Pentacles. Take it, slow down, slow down your pace. Something is going to come to fruition over time. Look at other alternatives. Okay, that's a message for somebody. All right, let's, um, let's get some advice for you. Advice for Taurus. Take a road trip. 
<laughs> navigate carefully. If this is a circumstance that is, you know, really difficult to get across to other people, if, if this is a topic that you have to navigate with other people, um, you know, just, I feel like you just have to say what's on your mind. And maybe what you say is, I'm burned out. <laughs> There's the airplane. I love it. What is the advice for you? Get away. You left quite an impression. Pay attention to the details. Hopes and wishes. Special occasion. Hmm. I don't, this is, I'm seeing a subliminal message. I just heard spirit say, so, so are they. So are they. You know, you may have big shoes to fill, Taurus, but if you have people around you who can run things for you while you're away, okay. Um, for some of you, you're really going to get away. And this is a much deeper message. You're on the right path. Like, yeah, whatever has come to your attention as leaving a void within your heart, within your life, making you feel um, like the noise around you is something you signed up for, no, you didn't. Maybe, you know, this the, the comforts of whatever you have built are just, they're not worth it. Five of Cups. Okay, what other advice do you have for Taurus spirit? You need to be honest with yourself about what is going on. You know, for some of you, this has even created like health issues, depression, sickness. You know, it. you need to fill your cup. I'm hearing spirits say again, this seems like a trivial message until you're in it. So think about that. You've been pouring yourself into everything and everyone else. What about you? Wow. Yep. Um, I feel like there's something major that awaits you, and I, I'm not sure why I'm feeling that, but I am. Let's take a look at when you shift gears. No, nope, wrong deck. Thank you. When you shift gears, Taurus, what will you realize, or what will you, what will you do? When Taurus shifts gears, what will they realize? I'm getting like a really peaceful energy all of a sudden. Financial constraints. Ah, don't think it's bottom of the deck. It did not come out. Don't think about that. I, it's a mindset. I think you need to change your mindset. Okay, we have storm warning hostilities, strategy, fifth chakra, speak your truth. Um, you, you may have people around you resisting, but what, what does it take? You know, it's going to upset them, perhaps. And if this is a family and they have high expectations of, of living a nice lifestyle, what are you going to do to undo that? I'm looking at the word journal specifically. I, I don't know why that came up. Someone might have been putting like a, I wish, I wish in a journal. Um, you know, maybe the time is now. What is this truth you need to speak? What do you need to speak out loud? Wow, King of Swords. Well, you're not mincing words, that's for sure. 
What is it you need to say to those interested? I'm hearing work can wait. <laughs> I'm willing to walk away. Wow. High Priestess and the Two of Swords. I think you're trusting your inner guidance. And even though you don't know how things are going to unfold regarding your work, I feel like you realize it's time to fill your cup. And you're going to stand your ground. Justice. The busyness is nuts. Lover's son. Four of Wands. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. Are you shifting priorities? It looks that way. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I might sit on this and see if there is a message from Spirit about extending this. If the link is below, we're going to unfold what comes after you hop on that airplane. All right, Taurus, thank you for being here. Have a great week, and I'll see you mid-month.